one percent of the effort you give it, hundred and eleven. You hated on me in silence, and that how you never said it. It's funny, I win it. Oh my god, it was giving you everything in the left, now you regret it, huh? Yeah, <laughs> my head is spinning round and round because my follower count is going down, and my talent alone can't get the clout. So, what am I supposed to do now? And I know just how this might go. My reputation's so poison, but it's better than yours is. What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Kid Vision. and welcome back to another new Music Friday. This might come out a little later than Friday, but I do plan on dropping it eventually. I am pretty late to the party, I wanted to react to Dark Magic by Nothing Nowhere. Um, I was gone last week, couldn't react to it when it came out, but I have been really trying not to listen to it on my own time. Um, Nothing Nowhere is one of my favorite artists of all time. I actually looked it up right before I started recording because I was curious. He is my 11th most listened to artist of all time on Spotify. And I've had this Spotify account for like 15 years. So, yes, he is one of my favorite artists ever. And um, I don't know what to expect on this. Like, he, the last album he came out with, I was not a fan of at all because I don't really like his heavier shit. Uh, Void Eternal is what it was called. Um, never came back to that album. Um, the one before that, though, Trauma Factory, was, like, my favorite album of 2021. And I still listen to that like till this day so i don't know what dark magic is going to entail it could end up being like a screamo kind of like you know grittier harder kind of album and that would kind of disappoint me but i mean the title kind of like makes me think it might be that so i guess we'll see um there has to be at least a few songs i like on this um but yeah that's where my head's at um before we get started guys like subscribe let's get to 2000 subs i've been putting a lot of work into the channel and i feel like that's a pretty good milestone to hit and we're only like 40 away i think so that would be really cool um and depending on how this video does will affect how i branch out into different reactions because i am mainly focusing on hip-hop on the channel and this is more i mean he does rap but it is definitely more emo so if you guys want me to react to more emo music um definitely like the video because that'll show me people want to see that so um yeah the first song is called Shadowcraft, and this is dark magic by nothing nowhere called dark magic this is robbery yeah, he's rapping. Let's go. Damn. Yeah. Dude, he mentioned Turk Pikes a lot. <laughs> Yo. He layers his vocals so well. <laughs> oh. Dub to the H. Yo, that's cool. Spelled his whole name. The dark magic no longer has any competitors in this timeline. Going anywhere near the cult of the Reaper is a dangerous game. And is not recommended whatsoever. Stay safe. Okay. Wow. What an opener, bro. So he's rapping. I hope he I hope he just raps a shit ton on this album. I do see a song called Reaper Rap, so that would be pretty cool. Um, it sounds like we might get like a conceptual kind of thing with like that news clip at the end. Something about dark magic and how the Reapers like wreaking havoc or whatever that that'll be cool next song is the title track dark magic and we do have this graphic down here to help you guys know what we're on and you guys can skip to any song you want to see a reaction of down below because i do the chapters on the video astral projecting into the sky <laughs> Oh yeah, this is... Oh 
Oh, we're getting emo today, man. Oh, that melody is catchy as hell. Whoa. The mixing is so good. He does a lot of panning. That's creepy to visualize. I, I was gonna say, I've listened to Nothing Nowhere so much that all of his songs start to sound like all of his other songs. And I almost guarantee it, I will, I will point out similarities throughout the album. Ooh, that's a cool way to say that. Wow, that is a great song. A strong start, bro. This one's called Bad Luck. There has been numerous mysterious reports of some serious dark magic. We're gonna get those throughout the whole album, I assume. That's crazy. All these songs are so short. What in the world? There's so many under two minutes. This will be a fun listen. Only 40 minutes, but a ton of tracks. Oh my god. Yo. He's one of the only artists I know that can, like, do that sort of thing. He got so high and his delivery is, like, so strong and emotional. Home watching tonight, make sure to Hold board on. your windows and turn all of your lights off. According to the cult of the Reaper, the dark entities will spot you, so just stay safe out there and good night. That's creepy as hell! What the hell? That song was just chorus, verse, chorus, intro, or outro. Interesting. Okay, okay. Yo, when he uses auto-tune, he does it right. Oh, that's catchy as hell. Oh my god. Man, this is all I could ever want from an album so far. Jeez. The cult of the Reaper demands my eternal sacrifice. Those laughs? What is that? I love the whole concept, dude. And it does sound like very moody and dark. And I love that. But it's not like that screamo stuff, really. I like to act like I'm alright to you while wrapping a package because I don't want to let them know about what is happening. So I oh my god, I pretend I'm okay. It's nothing new. I just figure I was born this way. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. It's called Toonchi, named after Lil Wayne, the goat. And he's rapping, rapping. He's rapping. Oh, <laughs> that first flow he came in with was crazy. Oh my god. All right. We're reloading it from the top. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, we're we're getting so emo on this one. I like to act like I'm alright to you while wrapping the packaging because I don't want to let them know about what is happening. So I put on a play and I pretend I'm okay. It's nothing new. I just figure I was born this way. It's Ooh. funny. I think I've gotten every wish that I asked for. A million fans, record deals, multiple world tours. Facts. Fame and money do don't fix happiness. Yeah. Damn. Yo! <laughs> he 
He shouted out Drake and TikTok in consecutive lines. Ever since I turned 21, the color faded. No matter what the fuck I do, I end up feeling jaded. And any sign of joy I feel only gets sedated. And any sign of hope is cut off and eliminated. Tell me why I feel the need to want our instrumentals. I never feel any different, not even incremental. And all these fans look at me like I'm a therapist. I'm barely standing trying to find my balance on the precipice. Damn. Isn't that ironic? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't that ironic how, like, Nothing Nowhere helps so many people? Like, he, his lyrics are so real. I'm sure he has saved lives, like, with the music he's made. Like, people really look up to him. And he's probably saved lives, right? But he's talking about how he's so sad and he's like, I don't know if he's been suicidal, but, like, he struggles like mentally and you can he talks about it openly in his music but like isn't that ironic like he helps so many people around the world but he's still working on himself like even at the peak of his fame and after achieving his goals and stuff he's still dealing with this stuff man it's so it's so sad but like i mean everybody knows you make the best art when you're you know struggling because the emotions there I'm a therapist, I'm barely standing, trying to find my balance on the precipice. Yikes. Yikes. But I still body every single genre. And I can Facts. Tell any band that I wanna. Ooh. So tell me how to find the light in the darkness. I'll show you how to make yourself the biggest target. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> on the grind like I'm Toonchi. Six God, yeah. That's my favorite. Wait, what the? Okay, this is <laughs> what? This is the first time I'm gonna be critical of the album. This is mixed like shit. <laughs> I don't know if that was an artistic choice or a mistake. This is like half the volume. That the last song was. The flow's great. It's just so quiet. <laughs> yeah, I tried to play the game, but the game played me. Ooh, that is a great flow and a play on words. I love that. Okay, now we're getting dark. He's experimenting on this. He's just... Okay. I love how he was just questioning if he was ever suicidal. And now... <laughs> Yikes. Okay, that was easily my least favorite song. Just the mixing, the weird deliveries, you know, the aggressive spelling of death that's what he craves like i will not be bumping that <laughs> will not be bumping that um not that emo not not that much uh but this one i've been looking forward to because it's called reaper rap all right i'm turning this up it's moody it's moody as hell Hold on. Oh my god, that 808 hit me like a truck. I wasn't expecting that. We're running it back to when that comes in. That was insane. All right. Whew. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Open the pits. I haven't been able to see him live. Keeps canceling the shows. Yo, <laughs> yo, that 808 is crazy. Okay, that that hook is kind of corny though. I'm not gonna lie. Just this the brand new Reaper rap. That that's kind of corny, but it sounds cool, so it cancels out. 
Okay. Facts. Damn. Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, that's the second time he's mentioned the genre thing. And, I mean, he backs it up. So, like, that is the coolest... That is like a humble brag at that point because he's like, <laughs> you know, I do what I do. I make the music I want to and I'm good at it all. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, that's why I like that's why he's one of my favorite artists of all time. I can listen to his music no matter what mood I'm in. Like I have a playlist with like his bangers, his rap songs, and then a separate one for his like sad introspective ones. I don't know. It's crazy. All right, we'll rewind it a little. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm independent and I'm making money, don't need an advance. True. saved me. For real. Bang! Get! Bang! Get! Bang! That's the brand new Reaper rap! Oh, this would be so crazy live, bro. That is like a near perfect Nothing to Wear song. Like, holy shit. Emo lyrics, rap flows, crazy yelling chorus. Dark magic. Damn. That's what I call dark magic. He sounds like the damn son. Where'd you find this? Yet all we know thus far is that there is something otherworldly happening, and we recommend that you stay where you are and shelter in place. Back to you. And Russ, could you at least give us some information on what to look out for? For real, Russ. Again, all we know is the cult leader is affectionately referred to as nothing nowhere. Damn, you don't say. He's the cult leader. Ooh. Some auto tune again. Reaper gang. Yeah, tell him. Stay independent. For real. Good for you, bro. Wait a sec. Wait, hold on. Wait. And it all comes back to you. Oh, that's the song on uh, the Travis Barker collab. What song? I don't know what song that is. Is that True Love? I think it's True Love. It's something on Bloodlust. I don't know. All right. It's the same melody, but he switched the lyrics. If it's up, if it's up, if it's up, then it's stuck. If it's up, if it's up, if it's up, then it's stuck. He must be a Cardi B fan. <laughs> That's so funny. And it's up to come, and it all comes back to you. Damn. Facts. Yo. This is like a... A posse cut. It's like... That's, that's just a song for the fans. That's just a song for the fans.
good. maybe it's the pills. Damn. I could feature on that song, bro. That song's so good. That might be my favorite song. That was so feel good. Like, that was that was so good and it was like introspective and he was like talking about like why is he still unhappy is it these things is it these things i mean i'm a rock star i'm famous i'm getting money like i'm doing what i love for my job but you know something doesn't feel right i love that that that's such a cool message and it like puts you in his shoes and it it feels good and it's catchy and it's just everything like that is such a good song um this next one's called no emotion so we're gonna <laughs> i have a feeling it's gonna get like real real emo and edgy more edgy than emo i'll say it pretty soon it's it's probably gonna get edgy because i see some pretty crazy uh titles coming up so <laughs> The tri-state area. That ain't the platypus. I love this so far as well. Rapping his ass off. I wake up, feel no emotion. Oh, that is gonna, oh, that'll be stuck in my head later. That, that hook is so strong. And this is only two, all of these songs are so short, bro. They're going to be dangerously replayable. It's not often on the channel I get to like react to something that I truly want to react to. Like, Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna rant a little bit. Like, this is something I was really, really looking forward to. Most weeks, like, I always react to new music on Fridays, and most weeks, I'm just trying to find, like, the most popular thing to react to, or the most intriguing thing that catches my eye, but it's not necessarily something I've been looking forward to, but, like, Nothing Nowhere is like an artist that is like extremely underrated it, that I think he sh should be so much bigger than he is. And this is something that like is pretty niche, but one of my favorite things, one of my favorite artists of all time. And so this video is like so different. Um, I don't know how well it'll do on YouTube. Probably won't get as many views, but that is okay because I'm capturing my first reaction to like music that I'll probably end up listening to for like years to come. And like that just doesn't happen too often on the channel. So yeah, I just wanted to touch on that real quick. This is this is amazing. Damn. Go tap my trees. What does that mean, bro? If someone taps your trees, what the hell does that mean? No emotion. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I know this part. Wake up, show no emotion. Damn. Damn. I love the ongoing like little news clips too and the the woman's voice like that it just ties everything together it's not even like that complex it's well, just it makes it feel like an album the cold hand of the reaper has finally claimed another victim details are still emerging but please stay vigilant and look out for a diamond logo containing the letters N -N. What the fuck? Am I doing with my life? Okay, <laughs> alright, already this is like so emo I needed to pause it because my graphic broke. Damn. 
Ooh, the crow sound effect. Ooh. Like I can meet my expectations. I try to reach the summit, but I'm stuck inside the basement. Damn. Been rolling around in my truck. Stopping out with these rakes on and these locals thinking they try. His flow is so good. Expect a pain on the horizon. When the sun sets, please understand that you are in grave danger walking outside of your home. Nothing and nowhere is safe. Yo. The name drop. Yo, that was the coolest skit so far. That was cool. Yo, I could see this becoming a meme or something. <laughs> that was fire. That was so good. <laughs> uh, next one's 1500 freestyle. I uh, he's rapping like more than he ever has on an album, I think, on this one. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucker. This was a freestyle, bro. This is better than most people's songs. All I did was rap about how much I wanna die. Now I'm at the dealership debating what I wanna buy. Ooh, flex on him. <laughs> yeah. Tell him. Oh. Man, this is amazing. Joe, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Oh my god, this is what the fans wanted, I feel like. Damn. It was cool to hear him experiment on the last album, um, Void Eternal, but that really wasn't my style. This is my style. Damn. Oh my god. Listen to that guitar solo. Holy. There's a lot I don't talk about. Take Whoa. time away, there's a lot of to figure out. Try to get off of the mess and I'm back on. Hey, I'm up, this a new pain to pack on. Oh, I love that melody. His voice is so low here. Oh, his voice sounds so good here. Oh my god. That's true. Damn. <laughs> it's a nothing nowhere kind of night. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of corny. I'm not going to lie. I don't know about that. It's like the same thing I said about uh, <laughs> or Reaper rap. That's what it was. I've liked every single melody on this song. This is so catchy. <laughs> Nothing nowhere type of night. <laughs> that was one of my favorites. That was one of my favorites. I love when he was using like the low voice. That was good. It's in the talking bone. This one's called Haunted Home. I know we're gonna get like one crazy song. Maybe, maybe not, but I, I know it's coming. It's probably triple X. That's what I have my eyes on. <laughs> Oh damn, a song about alcohol? This sounds like the most heavy rock. Oh my god, right when I say that, holy, holy shit. Oh, all right. Here it is. This is what I was just talking about. 
Oh, the distortion on his voice. That was like the perfect choice for that drop. That was... <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I just like ran around the block. <laughs> okay, this is... <laughs> Oh, here's gonna- this is gonna be the emotional one. Tell him. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Yep, this is emo as hell. <laughs> what is this ska music? What the? What in the world? <laughs> yeah, it's like five finger death punch. <laughs> Oh, this is like so the delivery there. Blink 182 shit. That's such a Blink 182 like vocal inflection. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is the longest song on the whole album, and it's only 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Oh wait, that line is so crazy! What, what did he say? I've been losing sleep over things that I should have said? I don't know why I like that line so much, but... Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that line. Oh, that line hits, bro. Yes. And this part, the. Oh. This part is so emotional, like, I feel it. Oh my god. That might be... If that isn't one of the biggest songs on the album, I'll be surprised. It doesn't look like it, like, stream-wise, but I that is probably going to be... That's probably going to end up being the most underrated song on the whole album. That was that was top 3 for me. That was crazy. That was so nuts. I'll go I'll I'll go over which were my favorite at the end and which were my least favorite, but oh my god. It doesn't get much better than that. That is like a perfect nothing nowhere song. There was like some rap elements in the verses too. I'm scared for this one cuz it's only a minute and a half and it's called Triple X. Cult. I can buy merch that says cult. <laughs> Did he say Zach? That's my name, bro. Damn. Oh my god. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. This is that Metallica shit. <laughs> Fuck all these labels, bro. Yo, I could picture like a death wall in 
<laughs> a mo- and a mosh pit at like a concert to that song. Um, that also reminded me, I looked earlier and I forgot to say this out loud, but I think this is his first full project independent because uh, Void Eternal came out on Fueled by Ramen LLC and then Trauma Factory also came out under a Fueled by Ramen release and Electra Records LLC. And this one came out from Reaper's Realm Records and Many Hats <laughs> Distribution. So I'm going to be assuming that's his own independent um, label. That's crazy. Good for him. I can tell like he did what he wanted on this album. Like he kind of hits every mark like different genres like genre bending if that makes sense like trauma factory at points like you could definitely tell they were trying to like cater to you know popular music uh like mainstream you know but this this album is like what who was ruiner released from that was also fueled by ramen so yeah fueled by ramen's been releasing all of his albums uh, for his whole career, I think, until this one album. So that's pretty cool. This one's called Drain Touch, which is a really cool title, in my opinion. That sounds awesome. That would be a good, like, gamer tag. <laughs> his vocals sound perfect. It takes one touch of all the chain. Please don't tell me it's all in vain. Where have you gone, my little brain? Oh, I, I thought the drums were going to come in there. This is a very soothing song so far. Time to sit back. Ooh, I like how he stripped back everything there. I can focus on the vocals. Yeah, there's the drum kit, the electric drum kit. He has so many flows throughout this whole album. It's so entertaining. Like, he just... They just feel... It's a breath of fresh air, honestly. It's... He just keeps switching it up. That's catchy. Like, whenever I start to learn the melody by the first listen, you know, it's gonna stick with me that was just a breath of fresh air that whole song that's what i'll say about it that was nice and like relaxing and soothing lovely little hell last song damn okay Back to the live drum kit. Ooh! Acid rain! Silophane! <laughs> Damn. No, don't do that. By the blade of someone else? Okay. These are the most emo lyrics so far. <laughs> Damn. Here's another song about how he's rich and famous and still sad. Fuck what it isn't. Yeah, that's so good. It is what it is and fuck what it isn't. I love that. Ooh, 
I love those chops. Oh, I hit that, bro. That's so clean. And that's the album. To my lovely little hell. Boom. Finished. That album was so good. That blew my expectations out of the water. Like, that was crazy. Um, there are some things I wanted to touch on. Uh, first and foremost, the album art, I think, looks so corny. <laughs> if you removed the figure there and it just made the text larger um, and kept, like, the Reaper logo in the bottom, that would look so clean. Like, just that font and nothing else on the cover. Like, that would have looked so clean. I do like that font and the colors. Um but he just looks so out of place there. That's one thing. And then <laughs> the next thing is like the one gripe I have about the album is he really sticks to like the same um, lyrical content. Like he's rich and famous and, you know, he's done it all and he's still sad. And like that's such a stereotypical like emo music thing to like go to. Which kind of shows that, you know, he's not being as creative as I think he could be. Because um, that's, like, a really easy excuse to, like, write lyrics about, you know? Um, I think I really wanted to hear about, like, some personal stuff from him. Like, I don't know anything about his family, friends, like, what he's even been up to between this and the last album. Like, I want to know about, like joe's life <laughs> like i don't think he's really given us like too many specifics and i mean it's fair that he doesn't because i mean some people some celebrities just like keeping that separate from their art and that's totally fine i think it would give him a lot more like lyrical content to talk about um there were some like corny moments or just like way over the top like emo lyrics at times so i will say that but i think there was only one skip on the whole album and that's Witch Hunter. And that's just because of the mixing. I think that could have... If there was like a little bit of an intro, like an instrumental intro, and then it went into the rap, it would have been cool. But he just went right in right away and it was mixed gar like garbage. Um, so that's the only skip for me. But like, that's a near perfect album for me. I, I will probably be listening to this for like multiple years to come. And it's so cool. It's so baller that it's like his first independent album. And he did that. Like that's so cool. I was already like a huge fan before this. But I feel like he has so much freedom now. Um. So yeah, that's what I'll say about it. I'm going to give this album a 9 out of 10. Like this is one of the most enjoyable albums I've reacted to Um. on the channel. Um. And uh. Yeah, because I don't know if I've given... I gave Quadeca's album a 10, and then I gave Breakins' album a 9. I don't know if I've even given any other 9s. I think this is the only second one. This is probably my third most highly rated albums on the channel so that's pretty cool um but yeah thank you guys so much especially if you're still here um if you're watching this video right now comment uh Dr. Pepper cream soda and I'll know you're a real one in the comments um, because thank you so much um, This is probably not going to be one of my most popular videos um, But yeah, I do this every single Friday if you want to subscribe and see me react to new music every single Friday Comment your favorite and least favorite song as well. I'm really interested to hear like the general public's um, opinion of this album um, but yeah Thank you guys so much. But yeah, have a great week, guys. And I will see you next Friday for some new music. All right, guys. Peace.